how you create indoor lightning. Can you please warn us next time? You nearly burned my hair off. That's funny. My hair is perfectly fine. Well, that went great. I think we've earned some ice cream. Oh, there's a great place three blocks over and one block up. Oh, who's going to get it? Thanks for volunteering. <sighs> hmm, three blocks over and one block up. Those are good directions, but I want to know exactly where the shop is. Well, imagine if we could see that route from up above. Why imagine? Let's do it! Wait, wait, the jetpack? We haven't tested it! Well, what are we waiting for? Wait! Make my mint chocolate chip! Ah, that's better. Now I can see all the streets down below. And look at that, the streets all line up. Kind of like a number line. Here's our lab. You know, the one with the big hole in it. Let's make that zero. And the first block is one, and the second block is two, and so on. Just like a number line. So, which way were we supposed to go first? Three blocks over. Three blocks over. Three blocks over. Okay, here we go. That's right. We slide three blocks over. But from up here, we don't have to walk all the way there. We can just count. Three blocks means we would slide three points to the right. We begin from zero and count one, two, three. Three blocks over, three blocks over, three blocks over, and one block up, one block up. But now we have our second direction. For this, we'll jump one block forward. To find that, we'll need a new number line going up and down. But where should we put it? Well, we started back here at zero, so why don't we start there again? X marks the spot. And then we have two number lines that look like this. That's called a coordinate plane. Just like on the first number line, we count from zero. So this point is 1, and this point is 2, and so on. So we've already found our first direction, three blocks over, and now we need to jump forward one block. We'll jump our point up one line, and there it is. We found three blocks over and one block up. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Three blocks over, one block up. Dr. Nagler, the jetpack, we haven't tested its landing. Ah, perfect landing. You see, by following directions and plotting our points, we found exactly what we were looking for. A lot faster than walking. But if it can, my favorite. See you later. Take me. You are. Hurry up! We've got more to do. <sighs> By plotting our directions on a graph, we turn them into coordinates. Coordinates are a set of numbers that locate a specific point on a graph. The first coordinate, three blocks over, gave us the location on the first number line. We call that the x-axis. We slide right and left on the x-axis. The second coordinate, one block up, tells us we need another number line. We call that the y-axis. You can remember that by saying y to the sky. Why? That's right, why? No, why? Yes, why? See? See? No, why? See? I see, but why? Just why. Okay. Okay. Why, but why? Yes, why? Confusing, eh? Not A. Eh. Why? Because why? No, 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 no. Why do we call it why? Why do we call it why? Because X was already used. Oh. No, why? why? 